Hello and welcome to Eyewitness Report, where we do follow up on some of the videos and pictures that we upload on our Eyewitness platform. This week on the program, residents of Igwe community at Ikorodu area of Lagos State seek the construction of a link road and bridge to connect to their neighboring communities. In Cross River State, residents of Etim Ekpo in Calabar, the state capital, ask for a permanent fixing of the ditch created by gully erosion. And landowners in Oshun State want the state government to pay them a two billion naira compensation for the demolition of their properties. Stay back for this and more on Eyewitness Report. I am Yomi Otaibi. Let's begin with our first story from Igbe in the Ikorodu local government area of Lagos State, where residents are pleading with the state government to construct a link road in their community. The residents say the call has become expedient to prevent calamity that might come with the improvised infrastructure, especially when it rains. But the Lagos State Ministry of Works has asked them to write a letter stating their challenge and how they want government to come in. Banana Estate Phase 1 is a peaceful community. It is one of the 10 such communities within Igbe, Ijede at Ikorodu local government area of Lagos State. A drive from Ikorodu takes you into the estate through this route, which residents claim is the only alternative to the community. It's not only a sloping road, it is muddy and slippery so much that it is avoided whenever it rains. Although it is not in a good shape, the road does not give residents as much concern as this other part, which connects the community to other neighboring communities. This is the only major road that links many communities in Igbe to uh, Jede Road. The other roads that we have here that can link up to anywhere in Ikorodu is very, very stressful. It's very, very stressful. It's time wasting. Before we can link up from our road to the other road that we are talking about, you spend anything not less than not less than one and a half hours to two hours. And sometimes you may you may not get Okada. So you have to trek. So when you are trekking, you know, you can imagine the sufferness. The residents may have found a way out of that challenge by the construction of a wooden bridge. The bridge is not in a good state. It's a thug of war using it, and only those who are familiar with it can sail through. From here, whenever we are going now, we do trek from here down to Lara. And before we could take Okada, which is 100 naira from Lara, uh, from Lara, then we take uh, we bought the vehicle to bus stop. From Anto to Lagos, at times we spent almost 750, 800 naira. But by the time we now clear this road, whenever we are going out uh, f uh, through this road, we spent 150 down to the garage and uh, from garage down to Lagos, and it reduced the cost of transport. So then I felt inside that uh, I felt inside this one. Even there were about uh, four, five men brought me out. So they said that I sank inside the something. The something almost reached my nose. And it's not a small thing. I felt, I, in fact, I was hospitalized for almost three weeks because of this swamp. I couldn't carry myself. I couldn't carry myself. I cannot carry my body. How do we go? Sorry for you. Even there was a time, pregnant woman felt inside While being careful to not get drowned, 
There's also the need to ensure that no valuable falls off into the surrounding bush. If it does, searching may be a futile effort, just like these people searching for a missing car key. When it rains here, the community find it difficult to come out. Why? Because the, the, the water will get to us on the west, that nobody will, will, will even allow his or, 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 or her own nation to pass through it, because it will not be accessible for any for any one of us to pass through. If you if you if you look at the bushes here, they are owned by by individuals. But because of the, the, the problem we, we are facing here, the individuals decided to abandon the, their, their properties because there is no accessible road to, to, to start the, their construction here. So that is why we are asking now that the, the, the able to do Google governor, we, we know him to be, should come to our aid and assist us in, 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 in making this road accessible to the citizen. What the people really want is for the state government to replicate in their community what it is doing in other parts of Lagos. This road we, we are looking at now, it linked to, to Igbe, Lara bus stop, where they are consulting presently, that links to, 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 to Jinti, Ibobo. It links to, the, to that road. So we have about 10 communities here that are b b benefiting from this road. That is why, if you look at here, and the, there are so many things we are, we are lacking in this community such as hospital, market, schools. Most of our, our children, they go out to, to, to school in various places and they are all passing through this road. And once it rains, nobody can pass here again. And now, for those that are going to school, they, they will not be able to, to go to school again because they will not pass through here. The Lagos State Ministry of Works has promised to intervene but wants the community to do an official letter stating the issues with pictures of the area. The people, however, promise to do as advised and plead with the state government to come quickly to prevent an avoidable calamity.